Hi, I'm Justin with VMP Performance. Today, we've got two of our new VMP Gen 3 superchargers on the table. This supercharger just came back from durability testing, and this unit is brand new. So what we're planning to do today is show you a blower that's been run for an equivalent of 100,000 miles versus a brand new supercharger. We're gonna pull them apart on the table, inspect the rotors, look for wear, and just basically see what's going on in there. When they ran the supercharger on the durability stand, they had all kinds of sensors hooked up. This is a thermocouple that's running into the oil cavity here to measure temperatures and basically see if anything's getting too hot. There it goes, the first drips. You would almost never have to take your supercharger apart, but if you ever did need to, they're very easy to work on. I started to feel this thing loosen up a little bit earlier. There is the heart of the supercharger, the rotors. This supercharger just came off the assembly line. It was ran through an OEM level assembly lab and went through something like a 20 point uh, assembly and inspection process. It's a good example of what you would receive when you get your brand new VMP supercharger. The uh, oil fill in here is actually designed to last 100,000 miles. If you never have a leak or any other issues, it really doesn't need to be changed for a very long time. You can actually see a little bit of red film here. The nose drive is sealed to the rotor pack with Loctite and then the rotor pack is sealed to the main housing with Loctite. The Loctite offers a really good seal without adding any thicknesses that might distort the mating surfaces or, or cause a, a bore of the supercharger to be pulled out of alignment. The first thing that we pulled off was the nose drive. And you can see that little tiny thermocouple probe in there that they use during testing to monitor the temperatures. There's really not a whole lot going on in here. Um, you know, the oil's got a little bit of color to it from the amount of uh, time and heat that it was exposed to. Um, <clears throat> the nose drive spins freely. There's no excessive play in the bearings. Um, there's no leakage or anything like that. This is all clean. If we look at our brand new supercharger, the nose drive is basically cleaner inside. The oil's still clear. The bearings feel nice and tight. Now we're getting into the supercharger rotors. This is really the heart of the supercharger. These are the new Eaton 2650 rotors. They feature a 170 degree twist. They are very efficient. When you look at these rotors, you're gonna see some little tiny nicks and silver spots on the edge of the rotor. That's completely normal. That's just very, very tiny objects or debris that got into the supercharger, um, you know, stuff from handling. But the, the really important thing here is there's no metal scraping. Um, the bearings are still tight, the tolerances are still tight and that's what's going to make this supercharger continue to live and perform uh, for over a hundred thousand miles on your vehicle. When we take a look inside the supercharger housing we really don't see much of anything. We see a little bit of dirt and dust that built up on the walls. Basically if this was run on a car you'd be seeing a little bit of oil from the PCV system just kind of getting flung around inside the rotor bores and making some very light marks or you know, patterns on the supercharger housing. You're always gonna see more towards the top of the supercharger housing because as the rotors build pressure at the outlet, they get forced up into the roof area. You know, all the ribbing on the outside, it looks cool, but it's really meant to reinforce the ceiling of the supercharger housing and keep it from flexing under boost. The bearings are loaded with a certain amount of grease at the time of manufacture 
You'll see a tiny bit of that grease get slung out, but that's perfectly normal. There's a seal on the front of the bearing to keep the grease inside of it. That's another part that's great about these superchargers. Those two bearings in the back are pretty much greased for life. After getting a chance to take this supercharger apart and inspect it, there's absolutely no reason that we wouldn't put it back together and throw it on one of our shop cars. We're committed to giving you the most up-to-date information on VMP products and services. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page to stay informed.